For a long time, Michael Carrick was the unsung hero of Manchester United. It only really came in the last couple of years of his career that people really appreciate what he did for the club. It looks like Daley Blind is Man United's new unsung hero. I mean, you look at his performance against Leicester. Um, three goals from corners, all of which he delivered. You know, he kept Riyad Mahrez completely silent to the point where he was taken off at half-time on Saturday. Yet it was Paul Pogba who won man of the match. You know, deservedly so. He played very well, but it's sort of indicative of Blind at Man United. Doesn't matter how good he does, he's still the unsung hero in the corner. So I want to run through a few reasons why I think that Blind truly is United's unsung hero. First up, Blind has got to be one of the smartest players in the Premier League. You know, I, I, to refer him to Michael Carrick, and I see a, so, a lot of similarities there, but Carrick in his pomp, he never had to make last-ditch tackles because he would intercept the ball six yards earlier. And that's pretty much what Blind does. He rarely gets caught out of position. And it just it makes up for what is quite a severe lack of pace. He's not that strong in the air either. But he gets to the ball first. He reads passes. He reads interceptions. And he's just his intelligence on the pitch is fantastic. And for me, it's definitely his strongest asset because it, it makes up for his lack of other assets, you know, the, the lack of pace is the real one. Again, looking at Mares, everyone thought he was going to get caught out, was going to get shown up by who was player of the season last year, but Mares was silent. You know, when you look at Lukaku last year, everyone was expecting Blind to get dominated by Lukaku in the pocket. Everyone expected Harry Kane, on inform Harry Kane to dominate Blind in the pocket. There's been lots of occasions over Blind's career so far where people were expecting him to fail. And he succeeded, yet he still comes in for a lot of criticism. I mean, and a clear asset of Blind is his versatility. He plays at left back for the Netherlands. He played at left back against Leicester. He's played at left back for Man United. Looks to be an excellent deputy for Luke Shaw. And maybe, let me know in the comments whether you think this is the case, but should Blind be our starting left back? Interesting one to think about. Uh, at centre back, he played there last season for Manchester United. He was and ever-present alongside Chris Smalling. And as bad as our attacking was last season, our defence was one of the best in the league, hardly leaking any goals at all. And that was very much due to Daley Blind. And of course, he plays defensive midfielder as well. Played there for Ajax. That's where he started his Man United career. And I felt he was super... I felt, wow, we found Michael Carrick's replacement. But since then, he's gone on to drop in wherever the team has needed him. Never complained, always put in at least a 7 out of 10 Maybe he's a Dennis Irwin in that respect. He's extremely, extremely consistent. It doesn't matter what position you play him. He's a jack of all trades, but on occasions, like against Leicester, he can be the king. One clear asset of Daley Blind is his passing range and his passing ability. Vision second to none and his ability to actually find that pass. Let's go back to that pass he did to Robin Van Persie at the World Cup, uh, Netherlands against Spain, the perfect diagonal that Van Persie headed in, one of the best goals of the World Cup. And he brought that sort of passing range to Man United. He always looks up. He'd always find that pass, that incisive pass through the middle that not many players can find, and over the top as well. He can go short, he can go middle, he can go long. And there's not many players in this Man United team that can pass as good as he can. Bringing the ball out of defence as well, that is a crucial aspect of a modern-day defender. And again, at Man United, I don't think there is any better defender at bringing the ball out of defence than Daley Blin. You know, Chris Smalling, Good sometimes, Eric Bailly has shown it on occasions, but in terms of a, a calming presence, your blind is the perfect partner to Eric Bailly. He's been good cop, bad cop. He's, he's been salt and pepper. Whatever way partnership you want to say, that has worked very, very well. Chris Smalling's come in, and I do think that is the right thing. I do think that Smalling and Bay is our best centre-back partnership. But where does that leave Daley Blind this season? And as I said, he has been a bit of an unsung hero, and he... He doesn't seem to mind dropping in and out wherever he plays. He'll play wherever the manager wants him to. But in terms of an asset to a squad, I think that he's going to be so, so valuable to Mourinho this season. And let's not forget his fitness. Last year, Daley Blin played 56 games, which is the most that a player has played since Peter Schmeichel in the 98-99 season. Now, United, over the last five, six years, have been ravaged by injuries, especially in defence. There was once a time where we had Carrick playing in defence every other week. And it was sickening because our centre-backs just couldn't hold their fitness. If it, was if it was Vidic going out for the season, if it was Johnny Evans going out for another three weeks, if it's Phil Jones going out for another two months, 
if it's Chris Smalling coming out for another month. We've had so many defensive injuries, and the one constant during all of that in the last couple of years has been Daley Blind. And one last point as well, every team needs a Blind. You know, you look at the likes of Phil Neville at Man United, was here for a decade, part of one of our greatest periods ever. John O'Shea as well, Mr. Versatility. Ben, again, both jack of all trades, master of none, but Blind looks like he's gonna be that player in this squad, and every squad needs them. Not every squad needs 25 goal scorers who are going to score 20 goals a season. You need balance throughout the whole squad. And I don't think there is a more balanced player in this Man United team than Blind. And you saw it with his performance against Leicester at left back. He has got the quality on his day. And I mean, let's not even forget his set pieces, which I haven't mentioned. We scored three goals from set pieces against Leicester. You know, they were pretty bad defensively, but Blind's delivery was spot on. And it's a corner... It can be so important to a team, and United for years have underused corners. We hardly ever scored from them, whereas other teams have scored so many against us, and it's about time that changed. And Blinz's delivery was so much cleaner and crisper than Rooney's. Not that this is a Rooney Slayton show, but Blinz was better. Simple as that. I mean, there are so many reasons why I do think Blind is our unsung hero. How do you feel about Blind? Should he be starting every single week? Where do we play him? I think it's in defensive midfield where Blind will see most of his opportunities because Mourinho doesn't know his best midfield yet. We've used Pogba, Herrera, Carrick, Schneidlin, Fellaini, all in different positions, all in different places. Uh, it looked like Pogba and Herrera against Leicester was an excellent partnership. But maybe there's going to be a spot there against different teams, different games. You know, you're not going to use the same team every single match. United have got Liverpool, Fenerbahce, Chelsea and Man City coming up in four consecutive games in October. You know, away at Anfield last year, or was it the year before, Blind was superb. And maybe this is going to be another time when he comes in. There's going to be certain occasions and certain games where Blind is going to be indispensable to this Man United team. And I think moving forward, he can't be underrated and undervalued anymore. He's got to be considered one of the key players in this squad. Let me know what you think about Daley Blind. I've made my opinions clear on him. Drop a like on the video if you want. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And we'll see you all very, very soon for more. Take it easy.